So then he finally gets on his raft and he's floating in the ocean and these this whale keeps following him and they show the whale come up and they show the one eye so they they put a little one eye symbolism in there as well. So then he finally gets rescued and it shows he's on an airplane again going back home I guess um, and it's four weeks later and like I said before when he wrote the 1500 days that's four years and 40 days which is 440 which is 88 times five and then they throw in another four weeks so i mean there's the four years uh 40 days and four weeks now and right here on the plane his uh old friend tells him that his the lady he was a mary in the beginning had to let him go they even had a coffin and everything and he said what did you put in it and they said, oh, pictures and stuff. And he's, and then his friend says, I put a couple Elvis CDs in there. So Elvis is playing in the background a few times in this movie. And it's not just the background music. There's a, there's obviously a point. It's because that S, he must like it ever. But I just wanted to point out that it's not just some random music in the background. There's a reason that they put Elvis in there. So then... Uh, his the girl he wasn't gonna marry this is her new husband it was his old dentist and uh his last name is spalding and it's a total play on the volleyball thing so wilson and then spalding and i looked up spalding here and it's a subsidiary of russell corporation and russell corporation was founded in 1973 and Alexander City, Alabama, which is on 32 degrees north. Also, just reading through here, it says, It is known for Lake Martin, with its 750 miles of wooded shoreline and 44,000 acres of crystal clear lake. So, 44 again. Then he finally meets his old girlfriend, and he says, Let me get one thing straight. And she freaks out, and then he says, He talks about the Houston Oilers becoming the the Titans or whatever. And the Oilers actually were established in 1959. 59, 95. And of course they were the Oilers for 37 years. 37, 73. Uh, they were owned by Bud Adams who was born in 1923. And he died October 21st, 2013 which is there's 71 days left to the end of the year so there's another 71 houston is on 29 degrees north 95 degrees west saturn 95 15 and the owner was also so he died in houston and he was born in bartlesville oklahoma which is also on 95 degrees west and the houston Oilers played at the astrodome the Astrodome was also nicknamed the Eighth Wonder of the World. So, an eight reference, too. Then she shows him that she saved uh, their car and kept the car before he crashed or after he crashed. And he's like, "It's a very, we had a lot of nice times in this car. And she says, two very nice times in this car. Just, yet again, another two reference. So, I forgot a part. Um, I'm just going to throw it in here really quick. Where they talk about when he first comes back, it's like five people missing on that plane and he survived. So that means four people died on that plane and he was the only survivor. But anyway, he goes and meets up with his old girlfriend and she decides to stay with the new life that she has and leave him behind. Um, and he tells his buddy all this stuff about how he has to keep on breathing and everything else. And then he gets in the car and he leaves. But then they show you the symbol again in the car. Um, I, I honestly don't know if it's like, but it's it's definitely a Saturn representation. Um, and then it looks like angel wings or something. But he also, I never showed this, but he also paints that on the porta potty thing that he made a sail out of. And then it blows away up into the sky when there's a storm. But, I mean, this is a predominant thing. They want you to... They want you to look at this and um, think about it. And, I mean, it's just, it says on time and I don't know. 
And yet again, at the very end, they play another Elvis song called Return to Cinder. And it came out on the album Girls, Girls, Girls. And it says that album, uh, recording sessions took place in Hollywood on March 26th, 27th, and 28th, 1962. So that means the album was recorded, the final day it was recorded was the 88th day of the year, and it was released on 11-9, Also, another two reference, um, Return to Sender became a substantial hit for Presley, peaking at number two on the Billboard Hot 100, while the B-side blah 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 came in at 99. Oh, 66... But number two, there's another two reference. All right, and I just now realized what he's doing. The package that he never opened on the island with the wings and the Saturn reference, he decides to bring it back to that farm uh, where it was originally came from in the beginning when they listened to, when I showed the Elvis song. Um, but I mean, like, look at this in the front yard. Like, this is weird. So at the very end, he he delivers a package and says. That that package saved his life. And then he stops here and he's looking at the map. And this lady stops and tells him directions or whatever. And then she drives away and he notices that same symbol on the back of her truck. And then he stares at it, kind of laughs. And the movie ends. Um, a couple other things I wanted to point out in this movie. Uh, remember the Malaysian air, airline when they talked about the... Uh, the transmitter or whatever being lost and it was a big deal in the news forever. Well, there is a part in the movie where um, when the plane first crashes and he pulls the deal on the lifeboat and the emergency transmitter actually breaks off of the life raft and then so he loses that and that's why he can't be found. Um, that's just another little funny thing, I guess. Anyway, that's, uh, I'm just going to end it there. I'm, I'm sure I missed a ton of stuff. Hopefully some other people kind of watch this movie and uh, find some other things that I, I was missing here. Um, even right here it says Tom Cruise was not, or Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks was nominated for Best Actor in a Leading Role at the 73rd Academy Awards for his performance on this movie. Um, maybe I said that before, but 73rd goes along with it. And I mean... Most of these characters, it's crazy. Like, you got Helen Hunt here, born in 1963, so there's a 63. Um, whole bunch of them, there was like three or four of them that were, you know, March 7th, uh, I believe that's the 66th day of the year, 1959, so 95, 59. Oh, he's 55 years old. Um, you can come and look at these. I know there was a couple more. I think this guy was 59 years old. Yep, born in 55. So he was 59. I mean, it's just crazy. But, uh, like I said, the ma the moral of the story is it's about the, f the airlines going down in Malaysia. <laughs> I mean, of all places. And then the flight is literally flight FedEx 88. FedEx adds up to 44, and they mentioned Jenna, who so adds up to 44, but how is the flight called Flight FedEx 88? Um, that's some crazy stuff, and it says Eric is next or something, I, I don't know, I wonder if some, I don't know, I don't know, Eric is next, I mean, are they, does that mean they're going to find something to do with Eric? I don't know, I'm going to keep watching the news, I guess. But anyway, have a great night. I'm going to end it here, and uh, hopefully we can build from this, I guess.